guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is the 12th episode of the FIFA 17 My Player Career. It is coming to the end of our debut season here with Sporting. And we're doing pretty well. It's been a little bit slow as of late because we've been switching the difficulty from World Class to Legendary. Trying to make the games a little bit more exciting for you guys. But still, uh, we're still struggling to be creative. Not just us, but the opposing AI as well. Not creating enough chances uh, to make it that enjoyable. So the gameplay... It's not been great to play, to be fair, and obviously not going to be great to watch if there's not many chances for either side. So hopefully in the next season we'll try and figure something out if we have to play with sliders, which was suggested in, I think, yesterday's episode in the comments. Uh, so we'll have a look, see what we can do, and then hopefully more chances will be created for both sides in the next season. But today we're going to finish off today's season. As I said, it is coming to the end. We still do have a chance of winning the league and loss with Sporting. I think Benfica are top right now and they are looking to be the favourites to take the title. But you never know what could happen. This is football after all and of course it's FIFA as well. So let's see what we can do. We don't want to be dropping any points in this last handful of games that we've got. And hopefully Kai can get on the score sheet to grab a few important goals too. But so far in this game, coming to the end of the first half, Kai's on a 6.7 rating. And it looks like we've got ourselves a corner here. Good save there from the keeper. And let's see what we can do from this corner kick. Kai's in there. Around the six-yard box. Going towards the near post. He's asking for the ball now. Corner comes in towards Kai. And headed away. And as far as Joel Campbell. And cleared there. Good chance for Sporting. But not really attacking it as much as we should have. So into the second half we'll go. Just over an hour played now. Here is Campbell. Gives it to Elias. Elias to Kai. Kai. Playing onto this near side, makes the run, gets the ball back there from Jefferson. Two in the box, three in the box almost. The volley, there we go. That's the first goal of the game, just over an hour played. And Sporting finally take the lead. We've been lacking goals of late, but there he is. Castanos scoring the first goal of the game. And Kai, of course, will get the assist points for that too. So that's something that we can celebrate at least then for Kai. Even though he's not scoring, I don't mind assisting. It's a nice little cross there and boom. A little bit lucky with that shot. Took a bounce just under the keeper and into the back of the net for his seventh league and loss goal of the season then for Castanos. As we go into the final couple of minutes of this game, we just need to hold on and we will have the three points in the bag, which is, like I said, the minimum of what we need to get if we're going to be champions at the end of the season. Castanos charging his way through. Oh, good challenge there. Bit of a shout for a penalty as he lays down there as well. But referee didn't give it. But it doesn't matter because there is the final whistle. And we do take the three points. And a quick look at his performance then for Kai. Eight rating, one assist in the bag. 23 touches, 85% passing rate. And as you can see there in the calendar, we have two games to play in the league. We've got Aruka on the last day and then Bovis the next up. And let's just have a quick look then at the league. As the league stands, Benfica are our top two games to play, and we can still win it. It will give us 70, po 70 points, excuse me. Um, but there, if Benfica just win one more game, then they will be the Liga NOS champions. So we cannot afford to drop any points whatsoever, and then hope, really hope, that Benfica lose their last two games, which I don't think is going to happen. But you never know. This is football, like I said. So let's get this game underway then against Boa Vista. We are the away side. I'll take another 1-0 win if that's what it's going to take to make us champions. Still finishing second in the league and us in our debut season. It's not a bad uh, achievement for the club and for Kai. He's had a pretty, pretty decent start to his career. Could have been better. I was expecting more goals in all honesty. Uh, but like I said, because we've been changing between legendary and... Uh, world class difficulties and still getting used to FIFA 17 as well. Uh, the goals have been lacking a little bit, but hopefully that will improve in the second season. And speaking of second season, will we still be here at Sporting? Maybe some offers will come in for us in the summer. You just never know. I don't really want to move from Sporting, as I mentioned previously. Oh, lucky there, Kai, with a little knock on header, just tipping off the crossbar. But that was a good chance there for Sporting to take the lead. Still on the attack, though, with the corner kick. Corner click comes in, and there's Coates, plays it through, and it's off the post and cleared away again. Sporting really having these early chances, just over 10 minutes gone, and we've had a good couple of chances to go in front. So into the second half we go now, uh, and yeah, like I said, I don't really want to be leaving Sporting. I want to win um, a couple of 
tournament. A couple of trophies here whilst we're here in Portugal before the offers come in. And there's a shot just wide there from Castanos. Good chance yet again for Sporting to go in front. But it's just not happening for us right now. And as you can see now, we are into the final minute of this match away from home. And if it ends all square at 0-0, I think Benfica will have wrapped up the Liga Nos title. I have no idea what their score is right now in their game. But if they are winning, then it doesn't really matter what this game ends. And that shot goes wide, but again... Even if they did lose, I think if we drop points now, then the title will be belonging to Benfica. Hopefully, though, in the next season, we can take it from them if we don't win it this year. But obviously, to have themselves a corner. Can we go on their counter-attack? Oh, my God, that's gone the wrong way. The goalkeeper holds it. And there is the final whistle then here. Bovista nil, Sporting nil, and that ends Sporting's title chances. A 7.1 rating for Kai after 90 minutes, 25 touches and a 100% passing rate as well, which is pretty good, but we wasn't able to score a goal to get us those three points. And the last game of the season then is against Aruka, 21st May 2017. And there is confirmation, the league table, Benfica are the champions. Seven points clear right now, will that extend? On the last day of the season, look at that. We've only conceded three goals all year. 33 games, conceded three goals. Only conceded, uh, only scored, sorry, 31 as well, which has been our downfall. And we've only lost two. We drew 14 games throughout the year, which again is the downfall that we have faced throughout the season. The draws and lack of goals. Be interesting to see how many of those draws were actual um, nil-nil draws. I'm pretty sure it'll be a high percentage of him. But let's end the season hopefully on a high with three points here at home in front of our home fans against Aruka. And let's see. Come on, boys. Let's try and end it on a high. Try and get Kai on that score sheet as well. See how many goals he's got for the season. I don't even know if he's actually hit double figures in the league. I don't think he has. Uh, but let's try and grab him on goals. See how many he's got. And a chance there for Aruka, and they've won themselves a free kick here. Coates, he's given away the free kick, and he's actually picked up a yellow card for himself too. As the referee gets surrounded by both sets of players there. Just over half an hour gone then, and a chance here for Aruka to go in front. Free kick comes in, off the wall, cleared away there by Campbell. It was a poor header though, to be fair, it wasn't really cleared far. And a good chance here for the counter-attack. Kai picks up the ball in his own area. And he's charging his way through here. He's got the pace. Can he go one-on-one -on -one with a keeper? He does. He shoots. And that is in the bottom corner. And that is the first goal of the game. Great counter-attack there from Sporting and from Kai, of course. 36 and a half minutes gone. Sporting won. Aruka nil. And the first goal of the game comes from Kai. Nice way for him to end the season. Grabbing himself a goal. And we'll have a look as well how many goals that is for the season in the league. That's his ninth league goal of the season then for Kai. Can he make double figures before the final whistle blows? Into the second half we go. Kai's on the 7.8 rating as we speak. And here's Joel Campbell. I thought he was going to get the crossing, but he decided to give it to Castanos. And Campbell holding up play, waiting for the support. Shot comes in by Melly. Straight into the goalkeeper's hand. So a good chance, but not really any conviction on that shot. Castanos gives it to Kai. Can he go on another... Charging run he is. The defender's just coming for him and it's easy for him to run all the way through. He tries to cross it, but the defender got in there and almost gave themselves an own goal. Got ourselves a corner though. And Haller, the new striker that joined in January, he's come on in place of Castanos. Kai got taken down there. Thankfully, still have possession. William Cavallo. Here's Haller. Plays in for Kai. Kai almost loses it for Sporting. Patient play here from Sporting. Come on, boys. Somebody have the shot. Oh, my God. And cleared away. Too patient from Sporting. Should have done better there. Yeah, but never mind. We still have that one goal lead. Remember, Kai with the only goal of the game. He's on, a, he's on an 8 rating now. I was about to say 7.9. But with that pass, he's gone up to 8. We've got less than 20 minutes to go. Here's Kai dropping deep again. Winning possession. Melly. Cavallo to Haller. Haller to Kai. Go on, have a shot. Have a shot, lad. He's charging through. Shoots. Goalkeeper couldn't hold on to it. So it's going to be another corner here for Sporting. An 8.1 rating now for Kai. As we approach the last 15 minutes of the game. Here's Haller. Haller crosses towards Kai. Kai with the header. But again, not much power on that one. Straight into the hands of the keeper. 
And can he steal it? Oh, I thought he was going to slide in there and try and steal that ball. We're into the final minute then of this game and of the season as well. Melly plays the ball through. Haller. Gelson. Kyle on the edge of the area. Plays it through for William Cavallo, the captain. Cavallo tries to dink it through the middle, but the defender had a little touch on that. Took all the power away from that one. The goalkeeper then is going to kick the last ball, I think it is. There is the final whistle then. So the first season, the debut season of Kai, is now over. And the last game of the season, he got an 8.4 rating. And he grabbed himself a goal. Nine league goals of the season then for Kai. A good passing percent as well there. A couple of shots off target, but never mind. And let's just see what this is. Player of the year announced. And it is Kai. So Kai is the player of the year, which is pretty sweet. Picks up that golden boot trophy as well. Any more news for us to check out? Player of the year, we saw that best 11 of the week. Are we in that? We are indeed. There he is. Platinum of the week. Kai is in there. Some other good players in there. I think it's the only sporting player in there. Yeah, well, there it is. There is the debut season completed then. I hope you have enjoyed the first season. And hopefully, like I said, we want to be creating more chances in the second year. I hope to stay at Sporting. I know a few teams may be interested in signing me in the summer, but we do intend to stay here at Sporting. We want to stay in Portugal for another year at the very least. I'm thinking another two years, but we'll see what next year brings and then see what offers come in. Might be something tempting to come in. Uh, but a quick look then at the league expectations review. And uh, did we meet all the objectives? We did, but we just missed out on the assist. But never mind, we just needed one more assist. We would have done that one. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.